She had another house? Don't, don't do this to me. Like, where's she at? We have a family. Now, you can keep the kids. You know, <laughs> I'm just moving out. I don't want to be there no more. I don't care. I don't care. See, what? See, look at you. Take, try to take my kids. I'm going to show everybody how you spent my birthday with another dude. And you fell for it. Triple T G Gang. We back in this thing. You already know what it is. If you do not know who I am, my name is Diamond. I run this channel called True to the Game. You already know why you came today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title, what we're going to be getting into. Without further ado, y'all already know what to do. If you need my help, Hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me. You ain't got no bitches you want one. You got one bitch you want a ton. Make sure you hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me. Also, go cop the merch. It will be in the description down below. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. This, 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 this ain't even real. What's not real? I mean, you've been gone for like a week. I know. I just got out the shower. So, do you want to bring me some clothes? Okay. What? I just got out the shower, so do you want to bring me some clothes over here? <laughs> I don't intend on coming home. Damn. She had another nigga house? Don't, don't do this to me. Like, Where's she at? We have a family. Now, you can keep the kids. You know, <laughs> I'm just moving out. I don't want to be there no more. Keep the kids is Damn. crazy. Oh, my God. Keep the kids. Make sure you take care of them. No, but she sound like the nigga. He sounds like the bitch. To work. Let's, let's, let's think about this. No, we're not thinking about anything. Stop trying to reassess a situation with a bitch who don't want you, fam. Stop. I'm talking to you too, because I know you got that bitch over there who doesn't really, she's not really into you. She's giving you pushback. She's giving you resistance. Leave her alone. Let her be. Value yourself enough to know, look, if she's not on what I'm on, she needs to get off the bus, get off the train, get off the ship. Stop trying to beg a bitch who don't want to be a part of your life to be a part of your life. I don't care if you got kids. I don't care if that's your wife. I don't care what the circumstances or situation is. A woman always has to know that, look, this nigga will leave my ass. If I don't get my shit together, he's going to leave me. If a woman does not feel that, if she's not scared to lose you, you don't need to have that woman in your life. If that woman is not scared to lose you, right? <laughs> There's no reason why that woman should be in your life. She does not see the value in you. When a woman sees the value in you, she's scared as fuck to have you leave. She does not want you to leave, even if she loves herself, right? Even a woman who loves herself is going to be scared to lose that nigga who she just adores, who she really wants to be with, who she values, who she respects, who she puts who she who she puts on a pedestal, who she holds in high esteem. She's not going to want to let that nigga go. But here you are begging the bitch, which is only making the situation worse, which is which is only bringing her respect meter from here down here. So, fellas, we got to stop doing this shit, man. I, I, I don't like that. I thought about it. I don't want to come back home. I don't, really don't even want to hear the sound of your voice right now. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? So are you going to bring me some clothes or not? You better not. not bring that bitch no clothes. I can't believe you're trying me like this. I'm not trying you. I'm doing. So This nigga's weak as hell, as you can tell. Oh, can I mean, you bring me some clothes? After all, I, after all I've done to you. Oh, my. Uh, After all I've done for you. Okay, we yeah. even. <laughs> we even. We what do you even. Mean we even. <laughs> we even. We done a lot for each other. Well. Dang. Okay. Like, this isn't even real. Oh, it's, oh, it's real. real. That's why it's I need real. to bring you some clothes. It's real, and this is the situation, man. A lot of you guys, this happens to you, and you just do everything you can to try to get that woman to stay with you. When you should really be staying with yourself, getting to know yourself, understanding yourself so you can see the worth in you. You can see the value in you. So this type of situation will never happen to you again. But you're so focused on a bitch when you should be focused on yourself. Which is the reason why you end up in predicaments like this. When you truly love and value yourself and know your worth and respect yourself, ain't no fucking way you would ever end up in a situation like this. Baby, you ain't happy. Bye bye. Ta ta. It was nice knowing you. 
See you later. Sayonara, man. <laughs> like, okay, who gives a fuck? Because I know who I am. I know you being with me is an opportunity. I know you being with me is an invitation to greatness. To everything great in your life. Your life will magically change by fucking with me. But if you don't know that to be a fact, of course you're going to be begging a bitch. Right? Especially if she is your type. And even bitches that's not your type. You just want a bitch. You're so thirsty to have a bitch around. But you're not thirsty to seek the knowledge of who you are. You're not thirsty to find out things about yourself. Seeking yourself, finding yourself. You want to find a bitch before you find you. And that's the issue. The truth, what I'm trying yeah. to do is, is just remain calm. <laughs> because I just feel like I'm going to spaz out right now. Yeah. Let me just say, all right? If you're going through this right now, or if you can relate to this guy at all, just know. That there was a point in time where I could resonate with this guy. There was a point in my life where I thought like him and I was weak like him. And I didn't know my value or my worth and didn't respect myself and love myself like him. I didn't know myself like him. So if I went from that version of me to this version that I am of me now, you can do it too. Okay? I'm not saying that to make you feel good. I'm saying that because if I did it, you can do it. I wasn't always, you know what I'm saying, who I am now. I wasn't always this great version of myself, the best version of myself, confident in myself, knowing that any bitch would be lucky to have me. I wasn't always this way. So I want to inspire you. I want to empower you. Look, you can do it too. You can do it too. That's all I want to say. All right? I wasn't always this way. So... All right. So listen, this is yeah. what I want to do. I'm gonna send you an Uber. Uh, an Uber? Yeah, you come. I'm not gonna listen. Don't wait. This woman just sat here and told you, I don't want to come home. I don't even want to hear the sound of your voice. And you're talking about spending money to send an Uber to her for her to come home to you. Do y'all not understand why these women treat you like shit? And you can't even be upset at the woman because look at you begging an ungrateful bitch. She obviously does not see the value in you, fam. Leave her the fuck alone. Why are you over here begging? Stop begging these hoes, man. Respectfully to the woman. I don't know who she is. I don't know, you know, like I'm not calling her a hoe, but stop begging these bitches who don't even want to be on your ship. They don't want to be on the ship. They would rather jump ship. And that's okay. Every woman is not going to be going to be compatible with you and they're not going to be for you. Stop trying to chase a bitch who doesn't want to be on your team. Stop it. Please. You're worth way more than that shit. And I'm not saying that just to fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, make you feel better about yourself. I'm saying that because once you know the true value in you, you will never allow such a situation to happen. All right? Waste your money. All I need for you to do is bring me some clothes. Damn. Bring me some clothes so I can stay here a little bit longer. You think I'm about to come over there and bring you some clothes? Okay, so it says she choose to spend boyfriend's birthday with another man. Okay, I don't see where the other man is. But, so he took away all he bought for her. Okay. You stay at another man's house. Just listen to yourself. Correct. So he's already knowing that she's at another man's house. And you still begging this bitch, bruh? I didn't know that he knew that she was at another man's house. I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm really at a loss for words. I cannot believe this nigga is devaluing himself to the point to where he knows the bitch is not interested in you. She doesn't want to even hear your voice. She's being disrespectful as fuck asking you to bring over clothes to another man's house so she can vibe and chill. And you still want to pay for an Uber for her to bring her ass home where she doesn't want to be? It's crazy. Listen to yourself. What's up? What's wrong with that though? What? What do you mean? What's wrong with that? See, that's why I'm gonna show the world how you be I doing. I don't care. I don't care. See what? See, look at you. Take, try to take my seat. I'm gonna show everybody how you live my birthday with another dude. And you fell for it, weak ass nigga. And what you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go right down there and I'm gonna go pick the TV up the same way. It don't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> nigga drug the TV out the house. Buy your own TV, tell your other dude to buy your TV. 
I'm not, I'm not doing it. You ain't doing it. I'm not doing it. This nigga gonna end up fucking the TV up. Wait, wait. The same way I'm pulling up on you at that crib, too. I feel like being there. She's a gold digger, bro. I'm a gold digger. I'm a gold digger. I'm a gold digger. I'm a gold digger. You fell for it. You fell for it, dog. You know, at the end of the day, no woman forces you to buy her anything. Even if, even if a woman tells you, oh, I expect a man to buy me Versace, Gucci, Louis, take me out on fancy dinners every weekend, take me on trips to Dubai. I don't care if she says all of that. If your dumb, weak-ass, trick-ass does that shit just because she says that that's what she wants, you're the fool. A gold digger does not exist to a nigga who doesn't tolerate that type of behavior. <laughs> what? I will never call a woman a gold digger because they don't exist in my reality. <laughs> like, what? Come on, stop being so fucking weak. I'm a gold digger, but you had, but you had, some, had some jugs in your face at the strip club. Oh, bro, that's the man, come on. Jugs in your face. Right, come on now. You know, she's just trying to flip the situation and try to make it seem like, you know... He's the one in the wrong when, of course, if he if, if the nigga's at the strip club, of course, he's going to get lap dances or whatever the case is. You know that shit don't count, but she just want to say something. Not get the CD back. Stop balling. <laughs> Stop balling. Tell the world how you got poked in the eye, too, by that nipple. <laughs> by the nipple. See, so look at you. Look at you. Yeah, you like <laughs> And that's why I do it right now. She don't even take him serious. Like, the lack of respect is crazy. Yeah, I'm saying stupid stuff, but you left that out your conversation. You left that out your conversation. All right, you can't even get, you can't even fit it in the trash. Oh, you putting it in the trash? Oh, he's so weak. I would have took that to the crib. If I'm going to do anything, if I'm taking my shit back, I'm going to take it to the crib. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking it to the dumpster. Fuck. Emotional and dumb. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm not getting it back. It's done for you can plug it in. You try. Hey man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Like I said, man, if you can resonate and relate to this dude right now, just know that that does not have to be you six months later, a year later, two years later. This does not have to be you. You can actually evolve yourself to know yourself, love yourself, right? Value yourself, respect yourself. And actually become the version that you were always meant to be and grow and be better every single day to where a bitch can't even touch you she can't even see you right unless you allow her to see you unless you allow her to touch you unless you allow her into your experience into your reality all right look if you need help with that make sure you hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me you ain't got no bitches you want one you got one bitch you want a ton make sure you hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me and we gonna get you right all right man go cop the merch it's in the link in the description down below don't don't end up like this dude man value yourself know your worth love yourself man we out this thing man stay true to the game